Greetings, and God bless you. I'm Elder Sutherland, one of the elders at United Christian Center in Okinawa, Japan. Thank you for tuning in to our weekly online devotion and prayer. Every Tuesday, United Christian Center family fasts from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. During this time of fasting and prayer, we consume only water and we step away from secular entertainment and focus in on God. We conclude that time at 7.30 p.m. with online prayer and devotion. This evening, I would like to encourage you and let you know that God is a healer. So right at the start of our time together, let's focus on the miraculous healing power of God. Think about a time he healed you or a loved one. I want to encourage you to be willing to establish a foundation a mental base, if you will, of a simple truth. God loves you and he wants to heal you everywhere you hurt. He wants to turn your mourning to joy. He wants to trade your brokenness for wholeness. He is a compassionate healer who gives relief from grief because of his great love and mercy. He's a powerful healer who has the ability to eradicate every disease and heal every wound. We live in a world today which is broken, hurting, in pain, and suffering. Whether it is physical pain like cancer, arthritis, or emotional pain like the loss of a loved one, divorce, job loss, or whether it's the greatest of all brokenness, the spiritual pain of being separated from God because of our sin. Many times this hurt and pain is intermixed together. Whatever the pain and suffering, the Lord wants us to be whole people. He desires to mend our broken bodies, fix our wounded hearts, restore our relationships, and heal our finances and forgive our sins. He said in his word that he came that we might have life and that life more abundantly. In order to have the abundant life, you need to be whole, you need to be healed. So he has provided that for you. For many years, the emotional wounds of losing my mother at an early age, I was age 12 and the oldest of the four children, it has prevented me from responding properly in relationships. I was mean, I was nasty because I was hurting. But God healed me. And the same way that he healed me, he can heal you. Evidence of his willingness and power to heal is all throughout the scriptures. In Exodus 15, 26, he says, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Psalms 103, 1 through 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your new youth is renewed as the eagles. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Matthew 8, 16 and 17. When the eve was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and he healed all, that's right, all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself took our infirmities and bare our sickness. Jeremiah 17 and 4 says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you 
are my praise. So this should encourage us that our God is a healer and he wants us to be healed. He wants us to be whole. He wants everything whole in our lives. With that in mind, let's go to the throne of grace. Father, we just thank you for who you are. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your compassion. Father, we just thank you that you loved us so much that you sent your son to die for us, that we might have that abundant life, that we might be healed. Father, we ask that right now you create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Father, where we've fallen short, we ask for forgiveness right now. Father, we thank you that you have healed us. Father, we thank you right now that where we are fearful and, and, and afraid to do what you have called us to do, and it's hurting us that we have failed you. We think we failed you, but Father, you have told us in your word to fear not. Father, we thank you for your precious, precious promises. Father, we just thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Father, we thank you that you don't change. We thank you that your mercies are new every morning. We thank you that you are faithful. You are loving. You are kind. Father, we love you and we honor you. Father, we just thank you that we can come boldly to your throne and obtain mercy. Father, we can just come boldly to you and say, Daddy, 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 Abba Father, Abba Father. Father, we just love you. We honor you. We praise you. Father, you know us so well. You created us. You know the number of hairs on our head and you even know the thoughts conceived in our hearts even before we vocalize them. You've told us to come to you and ask for every need of life. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, and you have the final word in our destiny. Father, we thank you that it's you that has the final word, not a man, not a position, but you, Father, that has that final word. We are coming to you today as your children, longing to hear from you and asking for your divine healing. There's so much we don't understand about life or our present situations. Father, we don't understand about the coronavirus. We don't understand what's going on with this. We don't understand anything about this particular time in history. But we do know that with one touch, one word, you can make us whole. Please forgive us of our sins, cleanse us of unrighteousness, and begin your healing in us from the inside out. Thank you, Lord. Begin that process from the inside out. Father, we sometimes we feel wounded and betrayed and brokenhearted. We wonder sometimes if we will ever fully recover from the deep hurt we feel inside. Father, sometimes we lash out at people because of that deep hurt. Thank you that you know that we, what we've been through and the struggles we still carry. Help us to forgive, Father. Help us to let go. We, can, we know that we can move forward with you in peace and freedom. We pray that those that have hurt us right now, we pray for them, Father and ask your power for your power to work mightily within their lives. Father, you see the, the hurts that have been caused by those that are closest to us. Father, those that um, we love, our friends, our family, even our church family. Father, we give those people to you. Father, we thank you for healing them and work within their lives and our lives. We leave them in your hands and find our comfort and strength in your spirit. Thank you that you understand all that we face and that you see and care. We ask that when the enemy taunts us with lies and tries to bring up the hurt of the past, you would silence his voice. Hallelujah, you will silence his voice and allow us to walk free. We bring to you all the stuff that he would try to trap us with, to stop us with. Father, we bring to you and we leave it with you, the pain of the past, the past itself, our mistakes that we made and our struggles. Father, right now we lay them at your feet 
And we thank you, Father, for the healing, for your grace, for your hope, for your mercy. Thank you that you have set us free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just lift up marriages to you right now. We decree and declare that marriages are being healed right now. This time of of, of social distancing, this time of, of restrictions where we are closer together. Father, we thank you that these are times and opportunities to be utilized to strengthen the family units. Father, right now we thank you that wives and husbands communicate at a totally different level, at a level that is better than ever before, that their communication with their children is even better than before. Father, we thank you that through this time those in those relationships of husband and wife, that there is a compassion that's rekindled, a passion that is also rekindled. Father, right now for the finances of, of, of our people, we decree and declare that you are healing our finances. Father, right now, the fact that we can't go out and, and, and spend money, Father, you are repairing our finances by making us rest. Just as our bodies need rest and we have to stop certain activities, our finances need that rest also so that they can be healed. Father, right now we thank you for healing the finances, the relationships, the our bodies right now. Father, right now we lift up our government to you. We give thanks for our government. We pray for all men and women having authority over us in any way. Father, right now, our government, our country needs to be healed. Our country needs to be united. Father, we just thank you that you pour out your spirit upon them and make your word known to them. Father, cause them to be men and women of integrity, obedient concerning us, that we may lead that they may, we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Father, let wisdom enter our leaders' hearts and let knowledge be pleasant to them. Let discretion preserve them from and understanding keep them to deliver them from the way of evil and from evil men. Father, make their hearts and ears attentive to godly counsel. Your word is says the heart of the king is in your hand and you are turning it. Father, we thank you you are turning that heart so it be away from evil and towards godliness. Father, we thank you that you're doing, these people in our government are doing what is right in your sight. Father, we pray for the government of Japan where, where we are right now. We decree and declare unity in their government also. Father, we thank you that they are able to do what you call them to do so that we can have a peaceable life here in Okinawa. Father, we thank you. We love you and we honor you, Father. Oh, precious Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we know that the prayers that we have prayed, that you have heard them because we've prayed according to your word. And Father, you know that your word is said that you hasten to perform your word. Father, right now, we thank you for healing. Father, we thank you right now that lives will be changed because of this word of healing, this encouragement of healing. We ask it all. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you all again for being with us during this time of, of prayer and devotion. Remember, tomorrow night is our online Bible study. It's at 7 p.m. and it'll be on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you tune in to hear the word of God. Thank you again. And God bless you.